Hello and welcome back to Own Your Beauty. Today's video is going to be my March favourites. This month has gone pretty quickly. I've had a lovely month, mostly, and I have thoroughly enjoyed. I was away on holidays and that has definitely been a favourite this month. I've been snowboarding for a week. I think I've mentioned it in every video this week, but there is a vlog and I will try and link that down below. Do you not know I have a vlog channel? You should probably check that out. Anyway, that has definitely been a favourite. Learning to snowboard, realising I'm probably more suited to skiing, but thoroughly enjoying my holiday nonetheless. So, random one there. On to the beauty ones, shall we? New discovery this month, the Max Factor False Lash Effect mascara and this is the waterproof version i got it for snowboarding and i'm this is disgusting because they had tape around it but this mascara is powerful i love the wee wand it's a plastic bristle wand and it applies a lovely layer of mascara it looks quite fluttery with just one one uh, coat well one application and you can add another application just to layer it up ever so slightly it doesn't add masses of volume but it adds a decent amount of length it also stays put and it is definitely waterproof. When I was out snowboarding and got sweaty and then ended up with snow in my face and whatever else, it was still there. I was very impressed. And to go with that, another favourite that I was so upset that I didn't have it with me when I was on holidays. The Body Shop Chamomile Waterproof Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. This stuff rocks. I didn't realise how much it rocks until I didn't have it. I brought just my micellar solution thinking, oh, it'll be fine. I don't want to bring more bottles than I need to and that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, bring this. If you're going on holidays and you're using waterproof mascara, bring this. You need it. Just put a bit in a bottle, you'll be fine. Um, absolutely love this. It's obviously a bi-phase thing. Shake it up until it's nice and cloudy and then apply some to a cotton wool pad, pop it on your eye for however long and take it off. I tend to sort of count to 10 or count to 20. I'll do one eye at a time and generally distract myself by pottering about in the flat and sorting something out. But it really takes off this mascara, this waterproof one. Very little bother. It will leave a teeny tiny amount, but generally I'm wearing eyeliner with it so I can't quite tell if it's the mascara or the eyeliner. But it will take practically 90 97%, 98% of that waterproof mascara off. And I always use the chamomile cleansing butter in the evenings that sort of goes with this, the cleansing butter version. And it'll take out the last wee dregs off. No bother at all. So much better than any micellar solution from removing waterproof makeup. And it's actually quite affordable compared to some other waterproof makeup removers. Get that stuff. It's great and it's really gentle on your eyes and it doesn't irritate your eyes at all. So, really, really like that. Something else ooh, from the body shop while I'm here. It's the Drops of Youth Eye Concentrate. Now, I picked this up before I went. You would have seen it in a wee haul that I did. I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using it morning and night when I was on holidays. And it was quite cold, obviously. And my face was getting weather beaten. I was wearing goggles at least 50% of the time, 60% of the time. But sometimes I just couldn't be bothered and I would have them popped up in my head when I was overheating. So my face was taking a fair bit of blasting and I would always get dry bits there and there when it's really cold, chronic weather. And here as well, haven't had any of that. Didn't have it at all. And my eyes looked pretty good actually when I was away. You know, they didn't look sore or red. Sometimes I can get red and tired eyes if that area dries up or if something could irritate my eyes, anything like that, none of that and the skin looked healthy and there was a bit of bounce to it and didn't look dried up or anything else. So absolutely wonderful. I will be doing a review on this. As I said, I have only been using it, you know, about a week and a half, two weeks, and I can't really attest to the benefits of it as such, but it is so nice to use. It's really cooling. And when you've got tired eyes in the morning, um, this is just fabulous. I used um, an eyeliner pencil when I was away and it was definitely off and my eyes were so red and itchy and sore that pencil is now in the bin um but this just helped to soothe things a bit because it's quite cooling in the area around it so it soothed things that way as well i obviously apply with this little roller ball i only pump up a wee small amount i'll apply sort of i'll apply it there and i'll apply it there and then i do the figure of eight around my eyes to apply this and it's just so lovely and this is so cooling the little metal ball so cooling fabulous 
back to makeup bits. I have this Revlon Colorburst Balm, uh, me, Matte Balm, and this is in standout. Now I got this ages ago from Rebecca, uh, from Rebecca Lately, in our US UK swap. I will link her channel down below. And I sort of wore this on and off and then kind of forgot about it and dug it out. And I've just been wearing it quite a few times this month. It's a lovely, lovely red. Um, it's quite a vibrant, strong post box kind of red. And it's so comfortable on the lips. It doesn't dry them out too much and lovely bit of colour. So I've been wearing quite simple makeup and then just popping this on and it's just lovely. I absolutely love it. And it'll stay there for quite some time. And I will maybe touch it up after lunch. The only thing you need to be aware of, if you're biting something, you will get a red mark down on your chin. It's one of those kind of lipsticks. But it is lovely to wear and I really enjoy wearing it. Another makeup item, I guess, are these boots while absorbing sheets. So they just come in a little pouch like this. Pick these up again. <laughs> um, and they have just a little bit of sheets. There seems to be a bit of powder on there as well, so it mattifies your face a bit. It does say, so it's um, the instantly remove excess oil from the skin, leaving it shine free in one, set, in one step. The soft sheets are impregnated with salicylic acid to actively help prevent spots. Now I don't know about the whole fancy spots thing, but I don't get any irritation when I use this and they definitely do a good job of removing the oil and mattifying the area a wee bit. I have a uh, pouch of these or a book of these in my makeup drawer and I also have them in my handbag. They're super handy, they're dead cheap, great job, really really like them. Now one of the last-ish beauty related items is my perfume. I've been wearing this one like practically every day. It's the Euphoria Calvin Klein, it's Calvin Klein Euphoria. It comes a little bottle. I got this set during the January sales and oh it's look it's definitely in use. I would say I've used probably about half of this. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this scent. I did have so many samples of it. I'm just gonna pop some on. And I used them all up and it's just lovely. It's kind of sweet and sort of musky but not overly sweet. I don't like really sickly sweet scents but it's just so absolutely love it. I loved it beforehand but this month I seem to be wearing it practically every single day. Love it. Now on to some slightly more random bits. I have been really enjoying getting back into my nail art. It is something that has gradually ramped up this year. I've been doing my nails more and more. Of course I have nothing on them now because the snowboarding, the dry nails, they're not happy and they didn't have any wash or what do you call them? Gloves, rubber gloves for doing the washing up, but my nails just got dry and split and nasty, so yeah. But um, I will be giving my nails a break this week and repainting them, but I have been loving getting back into my nail art. So I've been doing just wee bits and pieces and I'm gradually going to do a wee bit more. I'm actually considering doing something this week because I'm going to a blogger event on Wednesday. This may be up after, um, so I'll have been, um, but I wouldn't mind just going and making sure my nails look pretty tasty before going. But I've been really enjoying that. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen some stuff. And I've been popping them more up on the blog and everything else. Things that I've been trying out. And I have a few plans for some other bits I'm going to try out this week. I really want to try out. I'll actually show you a wee sample. It's over here to one side. I was going to try these out this week. Possibly. Aren't they quite cool? They're just transfers. I've never done nail transfers before. So I was going to try those out this week. Um, I've also... Well, this is sort of another random one, but well, it is random. I've been enjoying reading again. This just happens to be the book I'm reading at the minute. It's my Neil Gaiman um, trigger warnings. Trigger warning, I should say. And there's lots of short stories. Now, my book is looking a bit battered. I generally take really good care of my books, but this came with me when I went on holidays, and I had a day in a spa, um, and it just it was so nice to sit and read and have no technology turned on or to be checking anything. To fair, my phone was on because I did record a few wee bits of video, but nothing massive. And I wasn't reaching to look at Instagram and I wasn't reaching to read any blog post or anything else, which I do enjoy, but it was very much a really nice change to read a book, an actual physical book. I love these, I love books. <laughs> I'm a trained librarian after all, so there's a surprise. But I've been really enjoying reading again and actually having time to read again. Um, I'm going to possibly 
consider scaling things back ever so slightly so I have more time in my life to do some other bits and pieces but I will talk about that in future depending how I sort things out um, expect changes in the next month or so but yes just having a bit of a life again and actually getting around to reading I used to read so often and it's so nice just been having time to read again but that is it for this month's favourites it's a bit waffly I feel like I'm thoroughly out of practice even though it's not been that long but because everything was a bit broken up this month due to various life events and then holidays and what have you I feel like I'm really out of whack so if this is all up the left I'm very sorry um, I hope you're having a lovely lovely day thank you very very much for watching please like if you liked please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video